Good morning. We're here at Phipps. They're getting ready for the, their fall flower show, and we're here with Lauren, who's the production greenhouse manager. And here's the thing that blows my mind. This show is only three weeks long. It's so short, but you've been working on it for like a year already. Yeah, we've been, uh, we got the mums in May, so we've been growing them all summer. And we when they come, them. they're like this little. They're like an yeah. inch or two tall. They're tiny, and then they end up like this. Oh my gosh, and look at them now. And here's the crazy thing I didn't realize. When you get the mums, they all look the same, but then through the way in which you grow them, like some of them get super tall and some of them are sort of like cascading over. Like, how do you do that? Yeah, they're all the same species. They're chrysanthemum or a folium. Um, we get them in as tiny plugs and the cascades, we actually grow up on a big rack and pin them down. And the disc buds, we actually remove the side buds to result in that giant uh, mom at the and top. so this is the disc bud. So it's like you tell this plant, like, put all your energy into this one bloom on top, basically. Yeah, absolutely. So throughout the summer, we're just forcing it to do that. Wow, that is so cool. And also, this is a pretty special flower show because this is the oldest fall flower show, like, in the nation. Yeah, we started in 1894. Wow. And we've been doing it ever since. Well, I want to walk over here quickly because, um, I mean, of course, this is one of many rooms that you totally sort of do over with mums. And the theme this year, it's it's sort of a harvest theme. Harvest theme, yeah. Classic harvest fall festival, lots of pumpkins, lots of... Lots of oh, um... we almost lost Brian. We got to oh. do something nice today and catch Brian. Okay, we got him. Lots of hay, stat, hay bales, um, corn shocks, all of that good stuff. And really nice fall grasses. Remind me how many mums you, like, are in this show? We grow 2,400 mums. For this show. 2,400 2, mums. Yeah, 2,400 wow. mums. Okay, so here we're really feeling the harvest feeling. We've got this beautiful beehive over here. And how many people like work on the show? You have about a three-week install? We have a three-week install. The entire horticulture team about 20 people plus the um, facilities team is absolutely crucial to our installs um, and the exhibits team. There's like a actually... giant bee above us right now and there are all these hanging baskets. I guess we saw earlier, we saw Mike in that cherry picker and so you're driving these all over because I mean this, this, I mean if you saw the summer show which was amazing too, the Billy Porter show, this is like totally transformed. Yeah, absolutely. The whole conservatory gets get transformed except for our collections room. Um, and well, yeah, we make all of these in-house. That's so uh, cool. Well, we're going to let you get back to work. I know you only have a day left, but it opens this weekend. Yes, and October 7th. And it runs until October 29th? Yes. Oh my gosh, well come get down to Phipps. You don't have much time. You only have three weeks to see these mums and they look incredible. Thank you. They really do. I mean, what a, what a wonderful thing that we have Phipps I, uh, in uh, our community because they really do fantastic things. And all those moms, that blows my mind. They're so beautiful and it just does. It reminds you of just wanting to go out and just enjoy the fall colors. Absolutely. So beautiful. Well, Phipps Fall Flower Show Hometown Harvest opens this Saturday, October 7th, and Garden Railroad, Pennsylvania, through the Four Seasons, opens the same day. Yeah, that's fun, too. Mm -hmm. All right, for details on other things happening at Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens, and for tickets to the Fall Flower Show, just go to our website, pittsburghtodaylive.com.